Her family says their grandmother is lucky to be alive after a week in the hospital because of the virus. News 19's Jacob Reynolds talked to the family about their experience and what it was like not being able to visit the hospital. My mom, when I talked to her the day that she was admitted, she didn't think she was going to come out. She was telling me to tell everybody she loved them. And it was, that was the scariest thing to hear your mom say something like that. Shantaya White says her 60-year-old mother, Melody Harvin, was lucky to survive a case of COVID-19. Harvin, a diabetic who underwent a kidney transplant several years ago, is considered high risk. I was terrified. I was not sleeping at night. Um, my husband was concerned about, you know, me and my mental health, my, me, my sister, and my brother, we, especially my brother being, you know, halfway across the planet in Dubai. It was terrifying if that's the one word I could describe it as. White's brother is in the Air Force and was stationed overseas when Harvin was admitted to the hospital last Tuesday for a kidney issue. In the ER, doctors noticed Harvin had a cough and tested her for COVID-19. She's received oxygen and stayed for a week by herself, but was never sent to the ICU or used a ventilator. White says the experience of being unable to visit was exhausting. To have to work from home, with your children at home, with your mom on your mind, is is very overwhelming. Um, I felt like at times I was having a mental breakdown and I just, to look at what the world is going through, like I've never seen anything like this, heard of anything like this, and to be experiencing it so closely, it, it can break you down mentally. It really can. White says she had to tell her four-year-old son they couldn't visit grandma for a while and she'll have to remain in isolation after the hospital. Now, the Sumter native is recovering and expected to come home early this week. They're telling their story so people stay at home and follow public health guidelines. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Well, White went on to tell Jacob that not being able to visit or even sometimes talk to her mother in the hospital was like being in the twilight zone. There is some 